Hello everybody, it's Teacher Brian. This is a, a little lilac from a beautiful lilac tree. And if you get to see a flower like this, you should really try and smell it. It's one of the, the most beautiful smells of the springtime. Um, so a little over a week ago, we got to talk a little bit about some seeds. And we did an experiment. So we took a white bean like this. And we had three cups like this. In one of them, it just had air, and we put a bean in there. One of them, it just had water, and we put a bean in there. And one of them, it had soil and water, and we put a bean in there. And can you guess what happened? Or maybe you even tried it at home. Um, and if you if you didn't try the experiment yet, I don't want to tell you what happened. So you should go, you should stop watching the video now. You should go watch the first one, do the experiment, and then then come back and check on this a week later because you don't want to spill the beans, they say. Um, so, all right. If you did do the experiment or you did see the old video, here is what happened. The cup with just the air in it, nothing happened to the bean. It just stayed its beany self. The one with the water in it, the bean grew a little bit bigger and started to lose its skin. I'll see if I can, can't really reach it out of there, but... Um, uh, let's see if I can get the camera angle. Nope, I'll probably spill on the keyboard. The bean that was in the soil, look what happened. And you can kind of see, it still has the, the skin of the bean on top. And these are the, I think they're called the cotyledons. But they are still in the same shape as the bean. And those are going to open up, and then it's going to grow even taller, and the leaves are going to come out. But the first thing that comes out of the bean, I'll see if I can pick this up carefully. Those are the roots of the bean. And do you know what the roots do for the plant? They have a really important couple of jobs. So they hold on really tight. So when I, I had to really pull that out of the soil because the, the roots were holding on so tight. And the roots also drink up the water. And they also drink up some nutrients. Take a little sip with me. So that is was our little bean experiment. So we found out that if you just give a bean water, not much is going to happen. If you just give a bean air, not much is going to happen. But if you give a bean soil and water and air, a pretty amazing thing happens. So um, there's a little song that I wanted to sing with you all. And... But actually, before we do that, I wanted to tell you about one more little experiment that you can do at home. So, if you take a paper towel or a napkin, and you can take a bean, it can be any kind of bean. Beans are just like people. They come in all kinds of shapes and sizes and colors. You could take a white bean. You could take a pinto bean. You could take a little kidney bean. You could take a scarlet runner bean, you could take a black bean, you could take a round bean, a lima bean, any kind of bean, a black eyed pea, any of them should work. And you can put one or two of them inside the paper towel. Let's put two in just in case. And then you can dip that paper towel into some water. So we can use this little water here. Gonna get it a little bit wet. And the paper towel is gonna be a little bit like the soil in our experiment. It's going to make sure all the water doesn't just disappear as quickly. It's gonna help the water to stick around and keep the seeds or the beans wet. Beans are actually a type of seed. Um, you can keep the beans wet and then We'll see what happens. And you can actually take this. You, so you'll put it inside a little plastic bag. It can be a Ziploc or it can be another kind of bag. You can leave it open so it can get some air. And you can even tape it to your window where it'll get a little sunlight. Or you can do an experiment. You can do a few of them. Tape one by some sunlight, one without sunlight, and see if you notice any differences. But it's really cool. You should really try it if you have these supplies at home. And again, you can use any kind of dried bean that you might have around. And otherwise, 
when we're back at St. Mary's, I'll lend you some beans if you don't have some at home. But um, but yeah, so that'll be a fun experiment. We'll I'll check back on this the next time, maybe next week when I do a video. We'll see what happened with that. But hopefully you'll try it at home. And in the meantime, here is a little song that talks about plants. So you can take out, start with any kind of imaginary seed. It can be a watermelon seed, a strawberry seed, um, a tomato seed, a cucumber seed, a pumpkin seed, sunflower seed, any kind of seed you want, apple seed. Okay, so you can use your imagination. Get that seed out, and here's how it goes. This is a song all about how plants work, and you can sing along, you can dance along. Here it goes. There was a seed, baby plant. It grew some roots, then stems and leaves came up like shoots. The plant got sun and water too, and healthy soil and love from you. The roots sipped and held on tight. The leaves breathed, soaked in the light. And then it grew, then it grew, then it grew, grew, grew. Photosynthesis is really cool. And then it grew, then it grew, then it grew, grew, grew. Photosynthesis is really cool. Then flowers bloomed, woo, and bees arrived, bzz, bzz, spreading the pollen. Achoo! They found inside. Thanks, Mr. B. Gracias. Now we have fruit. And what's inside? A seed for you. Let's plant the seed and start again. I think you know what happens then. And then it grew, then it grew, then it grew, grew, grew. Photosynthesis is really cool. And then it grew, then it grew, then it grew, grew, grew. Photosynthesis is really cool, cool. So there it is. That's the photosynthesis song. And can you say that word with me? Photosynthesis. Let's break it down. Photo, synthesis. And put it all together. Photosynthesis. Got it. And that is a big fancy word that means that plants can make their own food out of the sunshine, out of air, and out of water. The synthesis means putting things together. That's why we do that movement. And photo means light. It means so the sun the plants are taking sunlight, they're taking water, they're taking some air and synthesizing it. They're putting it all together and they make their food out of that. It's amazing. I wish we could do that, right? So have you ever seen a plant at the grocery store or at a restaurant? They're not out there with a shopping cart saying, oh, I'm going to get some, some eggs today. I'm going to get a little ice cream, maybe. I'm going to get some broccoli. No, they just stand out in the sun. They breathe, and they drink up some water from their roots. And it's like for them, going when we go to the restaurant or we go to a, to a grocery store or go to a friend's house to eat, that's, they can just stand there and make their own food. It's incredible. So photosynthesis. And... Um, well, I hope you have a great day, and when you see those plants, if you go on a walk or if you look, if you have some plants in your house, they are doing photosynthesis all the time. They're making their own food by just standing there. I wish that we could do that, right? That would be a pretty cool skill. But have a great day, and I hope you try out the bean experiments, and I'll talk with you soon.